Good morning! Today I'm going to share with you guys my healthy morning routine. So I start by making my bed every morning because completing one simple task tricks your brain into feeling accomplished and on the right track. Next, I boil some water and then add some lemon to it and this helps flush the digestive system and rehydrate the body. I usually do this within 30 minutes before breakfast so this is a great time to read or plan what I have going on for the day. I recommend taking a cold shower in the morning and no, I'm not a crazy person to do it right away. The best way is to start with hot water and then slowly pull the switch between hot and cold. So this will actually wake you up better than coffee. I don't usually wear makeup every day so I just do the normal thing, brush my teeth, do moisturizer. But if I do a little bit of brows and eyelashes and a little bit of blush, it just kind of makes me feel more ready to face the day and of course face other people. <laughs> For breakfast, it makes it so much easier to get lots of nutrients in by making a simple fresh juice. I don't follow any particular recipes, I just add whatever I have in the fridge and make sure I add some veggies or greens so it's not just all sugary fruit juice. So for example, I absolutely hate celery, um, so I just add it uh, in the mixture of the fruits and it kind of masks it perfectly, it doesn't taste like celery at all. Keep it all your secrets, can't promise it. I cannot live without carbs, so I usually just toast some thin bread, add avocado, lemon juice, tomatoes, duh, you guys know that no meal is complete without tomatoes for me. <laughs> um, and then I add a little bit of smoked salmon on top, sprinkle a few microgreens, which are a great source of iron and calcium. To me, this is like the most amazingly tasting breakfast ever, and it's like so easy and fast to make. To be honest, I don't work out every single morning, but when I do, this is one of my favorite routines that I follow. So to warm up, I run on the treadmill for about 4 minutes at 5 miles per hour, then I stretch, which is very important. So I usually do like an arm stretch, leg stretch, just like your usual stuff. Next, I like to do squats with a 10 pound kettlebell, which is a great way to activate your glutes and leg muscles. So I do 12 reps, which is one set, and then two more sets with breaks in between. So a total of three sets. Next is abs, and I always kind of freestyle it. I start with 30 seconds of bicycle crunches, which is great for lower abs. Next, I do 30 seconds of leg raises, which activates your lower abs. Then I do 15 seconds on each side of oblique V-ups. And a great way to finish every ab workout is to do a one minute plank. 
And if you're feeling extra adventurous, you can add some hip rotation action. You know. Way back, caught up in confusion. Need a resolution. Can we find our way back? Way back. No more my arms are super weak, so this is one of my favorite things to do for strength, which is eight reps of bench dips. And then I just repeat that three times. Lastly, I finish off by doing three sets of 10 TRX pulls, which develops overall strength in the back muscles. And I really love this one. This is all I have for you guys. Please don't forget to hit that like button because it really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you!